yes are you actually starving yourself and you're hungry of shawarma but for the fact that some shops are not open you can make your shawarma or you can have one so guess what you can try that at home this is all about diy yes yeah? do it yourself so this is homemade shawarma if you want to know how i achieve this recipe do what to stay tuned for my returning subscribers thank you so much you all are amazing and for the new ones thank you so much for coming around do what to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to click the all bell notification so you'll be notified anytime we drop a new video so right now let's dive into the ingredients and how to achieve this yummy homemade shawarma yeah stay tuned guys don't go away so guys in achieving this homemade shawarma these are the recipe these are the ingredients sorry so here i've got my marinated chicken breast here i put down the ingredients or spices i use in marinating my chicken and here this is our half portion of cabbage two carrots two sausages this is actually a small quantity for i and my husband <laughs> and yeah we've got mayonnaise ketchup and possibly i'll be adding some sweet chili sauce to make our sauce and then we've got sweet corn sweet corn so yeah i'll be showing you how to use these to make your your homemade shawarma so now you start by cutting your cabbage you cut it very little so yeah i'll be using these grater to grate my carrots just be careful so you don't grate your hand as well you can see how finely grated it is now your carrot is ready to go right inside your cabbage while this is all ready, just add your onion, your sorry, your sweet corn and set it aside. Heat your pan and add your oil, just a little oil. And add your chicken breast. And I like to cook properly. So I'm going to pop it out now and put more of it in my preheated oven. Make sure it is properly cooked. I'm popping it out now. So now I'm going to be cooking my sausages with the same oil that I like to sit in there for a while. I didn't add any oil, same oil. So now you start mixing your sauce. So here is our ketchup going into this bowl. Our mayonnaise and then a bit of sweet chili sauce which is op optional if you want to add or if you don't want to add then give it a whisk and that's your sauce ready for your shawarma so now your wheat, your sauce is ready, you're just going to add your sauce in there. And then give it turn. You can actually add some cucumber, some onion. My husband don't like cucumber and onion. So I didn't add it in here. So I'm just like making it like that. Now 
now your chicken is ready all green and well cooked so you just have to start chopping up now you can see that well cooked so start chopping it up so now this is my tortilla wrap this is the whole uh, wheat wrap you can use the white one if you so do prefer so sometimes you can either you know first of all wrap and then heat on the frying pan or you first of all heat your tortilla wrap in the microwave so i did heat mine in the microwave for like 30 seconds or less than that so now i'm just going to rub my sauce all over it now just to give it that flavor at the side and i'm going in with my chicken just sort of like spread your chicken however you want it add your cabbage and your mixed carrots if you want more you can add more if that's enough for you then it's okay grab your sausages and place it at the side for us, we love pear-pritch food, so I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of chili flakes. And my, my husband and I, we eat hot food. Yeah, so mm -hmm, that's enough. And give it a wrap. So be careful while you're wrapping because you don't want your, your tortilla all over the place or your shawarma all over the place. I'm just going to wrap it. While you're wrapping, you're folding that part inside, folding that part inside, and you're giving it a wrap. And yes, that's your homemade shawarma. So oh guys, yeah, here's the finish of our shawarma. This is homemade shawarma. I'm very tasty, very lekker, like very sweet. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this process. You can try it at home. There's no need to wait that long queue or, you know, starve yourself of shawarma because you can go out, try it and make it at home. And I hope you did enjoy this video. So yeah, this is the finish of our shawarma. Looking so yummy. Thanks for watching. And until next time, see you. Bye.